You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and it is that time of year again. End of February, early March, my friend Janice is here to talk about the YMCA Spinathon. Yes. Um, talk about it. What's okay. a Spinathon? I, you educated me a little bit last year, but I need a refresher. Uh, the Spinathon is put on by the Old Colony YMCA. Uh, all the local Ys do it, all the Ys do it, I should say. So Easton, um, East Bridgewater, Brockton, and basically the, the goal of the Spinathon is to fundraise and to raise monies so that youth can go to camps for the summer, scholarships, um, and it's indoor cycling, um, and there are different time slots that are available. And it's to music, and you don't have to be uh, a spinner enthusiast. Um, you can just come and spin. It's just basically to, to raise money. Uh, the cost to to do it is twenty dollars, and it's it's your it's the goal of the Y for you to raise money as well, uh, aside from the twenty dollar registration fee. How much are they trying to get you to raise? I bet you, you get an early slot. I heard before we started recording, mm -hmm. you're an eight a.m. slot. I am. I'm at the at the top of the hour. Um, you know, my goal is to raise as much money as possible. I mean, sometimes you know, I just try to get the participants in, and um, they rate you know they. They raise twenty dollars or more. I mean, that's great. So anything that will be beneficial will be helpful. Because there are, there's a lot of need in Brockton. There's a lot of kids that can't afford to go to camp. Exactly. So the more you spend, the more people you bring in. Yes. The more money you raise, the more campers can go. Exactly, and that's the goal. That's the goal of the program. And I believe the Old Colony Y they're looking to raise at least thirty thousand dollars this year. Um, so it's a very lofty goal, but I'm sure they'll meet. They'll they'll meet the goal. So I bet you you've personally recruited a number of people to be involved. I in have. I've put it on Facebook, uh, any you know, Instagram. I have put it out there to my friends and family. Um, they'll come and do it, but then they're not. You know, they don't do a lot of the things that I'm doing on the bike. But it, they're there in good spirit and to support it. So I've already recruited, and I'm looking for more people. As I say, more soldiers to come out and to participate with me. So if they want to get involved. Do they call you? Yes, they contact me. Um, you can contact me um, through instant through social media, which I have a Facebook page, um, or they can contact me directly, which is a cell, which is 508-328-5503. Um, the Y is not taking the registrations per se. They can go and do a, a link. So if they reached out to me, I can provide them with the link to register online because it's getting close. March 10th is going to be here. Sooner. Before we know it. I know. So your Facebook page, is it your name? Yes. So uh, tell them. Janice Johnson Pluma, P-L-U-M-E-R, and they can reach out to me that way and just let me know that they're interested if they would like to uh, participate at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. Okay. And it's March 10th, which is? A Saturday. Saturday, yes. Okay. I think it's the same day across uh, the street they're doing the uh, St. Patrick's Day Mass. Yes, uh, I was just told that, yes. Uh, it's right across the street, so you can go to both, because I think that actually starts at 11. Okay, so there's no excuse. So you can so there's go no at 8, and you can go at 10, and then you can go across the street and go to church. Yeah, exactly. And no then excuse. have corned beef and cabbage after you've peddled your <laughs> life away, right? <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, is this second year, third year? How long have you been doing this? Uh, 2015 for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good for so, you. So I, I love it. I, I teach normally at the Y anyway, so it just made perfect sense for me to. It's just another opportunity to to, you know, to do it, to participate, to help raise money, and I enjoy it. So it's a great time. And it's a good cause. Yes. Okay. Now speaking of good causes, you told me as well that you're involved in trying to help somebody that's mm -hmm. going through a difficult time. Talk about that. Yes, it's actually my cousin, Elise um, Jenkins. She is actually um, going through stage four breast cancer. Um, we were actually there this past Christmas in South Carolina where she basically told us her diagnosis. Uh, she has uh, four beautiful children, um, and two of them are young, younger, and then she has two older children. Um, and she's married, but the, you know she requires clinical trials, and they're costly. Um, she does work, but you know it can't pay for everything. Um, so why not use the gifts and talents that I've been blessed with to do a spinathon on her behalf, along with her uh, other family members? We've all kind of pooled together and come together and say, you know what, we're going to do a, a spinathon for her on her behalf. So that is taking place April seventh um, at the Old Colony Y, uh, three hundred and twenty Main Street. Um, that will start at 10 a.m. and it will go to noontime. So I've recruited another friend of mine who's also certified to teach spin, and she's going to do one slot for 45 minutes, and then I'll teach the other 
a slot, which will begin at 11, um, and that's $20, and that's just to kind of raise funds on her behalf. Uh, and then on April 8th, uh, Cycle Life Studio at 242 Bedford Street in Whitman. Uh, it's another location that I teach at, teach at as well. Um, they have been gracious enough to allow me to utilize the space to do um, a, a fundraiser there as well for her on April 8th, and that's from 11 to 12. Wow, that's great. You, I mean, very ambitious. Mm -hmm. A lot of energy. Yes. A uh, lot of time helping people. You've mm -hmm. always been a volunteer at heart. I, Thank I you. I miss you on our library board. Thank you. I okay. miss. I miss that. I do. Um, I was just thinking about that the other day because I'm like, wow, I'm in here all the time getting books now. Well, you always you always welcome back anytime. Okay. 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 We're, I think we're getting another appointment coming up. Um, oh. We, uh, city, city council, mayor can't appoint the last three months that he's running for re-election. Okay. So now all the appointments are going through the city council and we're getting some people. We have some people that are still on when you were on. Margie. Yes, Margie's Margie. still there. Yes, I saw and, Margie. Um, uh, yep. Her husband is sick. Oh, and okay. Her husband, I don't know if you saw the Globe article, he has, um, he has colon cancer. Oh, my God. a big article in the Globe mm. and he was a malpractice attorney and guess what? They misdiagnosed him. Oh my goodness! Okay, so I know uh, colon cancer. Uh, uh, my mother, Pat, that's what she passed from was colon cancer, as cool. well. So I'm very, I, I know the disease quite well. Well, you're doing a wonderful thing by helping Elise. Um, you know, in, in in another state. I mean, why why YMCA does this all over the country, right? Right. Yes. So maybe they'll catch on and do something down down in her area too. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Um, but couldn't be a better cause. So you get one cause to help the kids yes. to go to camp mm -hmm. and raise money for the Y. That is on March 10th. Yes. 8 and 10. Yes. And then if I got this right on the 7th of April from 10 to noon, also at the Old Colony Y. Yes. And then on the 8th at, one more time? Cycle Life Studio at 242 Bedford Street in Whitman. And that will be from 11 to 12. So look at your Facebook. Yes. You gave out the phone number. Yes. Uh, help out. Good card, twenty dollars isn't a lot to give, and no. if you want to be more generous, you can give more than that. Exactly, correct? exactly. Okay. Did I miss anything? Anything? No, else you, you captured it quite right, Mark. Like always. Okay. Well, we're glad to help. Um, I'm not sure what we have for time left, but uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Oh, great! Thanks for being on. Thank and you. We know you're going to be a success. You always are. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank okay. you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.